So I was just driving on the Long Island Expressway westbound towards New York City, and I saw a car pulled over and a person next to the car bent over with their pants down, mooning westbound traffic, and then suddenly diarrhea started shooting out of their ass as if it were a water cannon. Uh, I, I mean, if it were a medical situation, I hope that person's okay, but uh, I, I want to puke. Uh, I want to cry. Uh, I will never be able to unsee what I just saw. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to acknowledge the moment. Welcome to New York. Today on the Tom Kelly Show podcast, my friend Christian Blatt from the Blattcast sits in as sidekick as we discuss the three times I have seen people poop, whether or not Meghan Markle literally is trash, and we're going to fill out my New York City health and wellness report, and if we're lucky, we'll have time for Limerick trivia. So, let's start the show. The Tom Kelly Show. Everybody, I want you to go to the Tom Kelly Show. I want you all to know about the Tom Kelly Show. Music playing. I mean, I love the, 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 the Tom Kelly show. I there you guy. go. That and then great. here we go. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Trigger warning. Did I just say trigger? You know what I meant there. Trigger warning. Spoiler alert. Pull Megan Markle out of the trash. You are experiencing uh, a last minute random. I got a friend in town edition of the Tom Kelly show. Uh, my friend here is Christian Blatt, who you have heard on the program many times. In fact, some of you who listen to the show uh, love me because you heard me on Christian's amazing podcast, The Black Cast. How do you sum up The Black Cast in one word or one sentence? I say uh, that the black cast isn't for everyone, but for everyone, there is an episode of the black cast because uh, it's uh, not as originally formatted as the Tom Kelly show. It's uh, it's a lot of like, what do I want to do this week? Or well, what do I want to talk about? Or let's talk about this movie. Or let's tell this story about, uh, you know, I did one just a couple weeks ago. We were on a friend's rooftop overlooking Angel Stadium down in Anaheim, just catching up uh, with an old radio friend who uh, talked kindly about my career. So I left it all in to the episode. So... <laughs> No, and this is what I like about your podcast is I think it has the same benefits and flaws as my own. That's I think that's part of why we get it. We, we don't have the ADD enough. Like I was, t I was telling Christian, if we just talked about fixing cars and stamps, uh, we would do great. That's true. I mean, uh, and and I, I I I think I have a title for the stamp podcast, which is stamps. You can lick them. <laughs> Is that from something? No, no, no. I was, okay. was going to say, I was actually about to say you can't lick them. And then I'm like, well, that doesn't actually make sense. Well, you know, when, when I said I had a title for the show, it was the opposite of what I actually see, I said. I would have made our stamp podcast lick this. Oh, see, I like that. I definitely like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. Think about the advertising campaign and we'll move on. Oh, my God. And our OnlyFans account for stamp. <laughs> oh, okay. So right. I, I want to get through talk. Actually, trashy humor and OnlyFans might be the way to go. Uh, I'm viral on TikTok. Good for you. Again, but never for anything that I want. Uh, I'm going viral on TikTok right now uh, because I saw a guy pooping on the side of the Long Island Expressway. Oh, okay. And wow. I pulled over. I was exasperated. Sure. I recorded my reaction. And right now, 200,000 views in less than 24 hours on TikTok. I think people can relate to that, you know? it's uh, Well, I told my shrink the story. Yeah. And I don't go into my psychologist trying to make him or her laugh. Okay. But I made him laugh really hard. I, I mean, I think that that's, uh, well, then you you know that that story has to go into the set, obviously. Well, I'm now you got to figure out how to do it. So you got to figure out how to do it. Yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll tell the, the long story of the three times. In fact, I think that's the title of the episode. The three times I've seen, I've people, seen poop. people poop. Yeah. Yeah. It's an homage to uh, Chappelle and the four times I've seen OJ. Yeah. Yeah. I have, uh, because I have uh, two children, I have seen people poop many times. But I know what you're talking about, and it's very different than okay, that. Okay, no, and then maybe we have to rename the podcast 
the three times I've seen strangers poop. Oh, there you, you right, go. I have changed a diaper or two in my uncle's years. Good for you, years. by yeah. the way. Yeah. Not, not all uncles and grandparents will uh, take the time to change the diaper. But Oh, I, 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 I've done it with each child that calls me uncle. Okay. So purely so I could yell out, I have changed your diapers. <laughs> right. You need to be able to hold it over their head when they're yeah, uh, when they're like one day when they're in college, yeah, drunk and puking, and I'm holding their head over a toilet or something like that. Yeah. I have changed your diapers, <laughs> and it was really sad to eventually do that with my own grandparents. But that's another story. Yeah, for- I, I I I never changed diapers before I had children. But uh, in college, I did date a girl that I made call me daddy. So, you know, there's a very lot of different ways to look at that. So I will start with the most recent and impressive. Uh, actually, I'll start with the two least impressive times I've seen people poop. First time was pretty easy. I was going to look at an apartment uh, with my friend Charlie Jaquillard, who's in the Army. I've told you about him before. I believe so, He yes. was living at 101 and Central Park West. And... That was when triple digits were still fuzzy. Like, it's a block away from government housing, but it's also a block away from millionaires. Yeah. And just walking to the apartment, uh, I saw a guy next to a trash can take a poop. And and here's the thing about poop humor, humor, America, is when I, if you want to make me puke or poop, well, if you want to make me puke, <laughs> show me someone pooping or okay. puking. Right. That sets me off. Those but are my triggers. Neither of those make you poop. They both make you vomit. Though. Make me vomit. Okay, and that's yeah, that's the hard part about doing a show with a friend and not editing. I would have just paused and reset the sentence there. But yeah. No, I I, I wanted to know. I mean, yeah. you, you made me think like, wait, does something so make you poop? Yeah. Puke makes me puke. Yep. Poop makes me puke. Puke as well. Neither makes me poop. Okay. Okay. That's a, that's a, a follow up episode next year. <laughs> Things that well, make me what poop. makes Tom poop? <laughs> maybe, fiber maybe then we will go to the mexican restaurant down the street and ding uh, uh now, i don't have the bell i, I have a bell travel. over there i didn't travel with my bell uh, I, I have I, a bell i, I, should, I have a loner bell for when you're in town <laughs> okay that's good <laughs> i'll bring it to you so you could do it on nagel's it's podcast the city bike of uh ding, of ding. Bells. <laughs> <laughs> so now first time I, I i'm looking at going to look at this apartment at 101 in uh, central park west long story short saw a guy grabbing a garbage can took a poop uh i wanted to vomit I'm like, no way am I living in this neighborhood. Turned out I had a great deal on the rent. I moved on pretty quick. Okay. Second time, I've seen somebody poop. I see this heavy set lady as I'm coming out of my apartment, now at 102 in Broadway. I've moved to a different apartment. Okay. She looks like she's having a heart attack. Oh, boy. She's standing in between two cars. She has this look on her face like she is in pain. I start walking down the steps. Ma'am! Are you okay? And then I just see it all come out. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's... Uh, yeah right there. Uh, this story, a little longer and a better thing. Now, we're years later. I haven't seen anybody. I might have seen somebody poop on the subway here and there. I don't know. I just... But it actually it's doesn't now. happen that often, even in, in a city, you know, a city like this. Yes, it's possible. Yeah. A city like San Francisco, it's possible. But it is not a daily occurrence. It's not a daily occurrence. You know, yeah, especially because if it happens on a day, the next day you're not going to be in that same spot. Wherever it was, you're like, I'm just not going there again yeah. today. So now I'm driving on the Long Island Expressway on Juneteenth. Uh, I am in uh, uh, westbound uh, heading towards New York City, and I see a white Nissan Sentra, possibly gray. I forget now. But I see, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. That person's really wearing a tight skirt. Oh I could boy. see their butt crack. Oh. Then I go, okay. wait, no. I see their butt crack. And then they were bent over. And then oh, suddenly, no. like water shooting at the, out of the fountains at the Bellagio. <laughs> up into the air. Like, like one was, of those, it, was it also set to Elton John's Crocodile Rock? <laughs> No, Uh, and your knowledge of pop culture was not useful there. (laughs) I I, I was recently in Vegas. Is that what they? Is that what they do? I, I, you know, it's one of the one of the songs that you will hear. Yeah, and I wish I had the. I'm about to install a dashboard camera on the car, except that I just don't want to put the energy into it. That's fair. Yeah, yeah. Uh, My friend Jack has one, and he's caught car accidents and weird crimes. He actually was made a spokesperson for Owl Cam. I think it's called. All right, Uh, Owl Cam. I'd love a free one. 
Tom Kelly Show sponsorship if you want. Because if I had the camera, I would have seen it. And it just, it just shot up into the air. Oh, like man. distance, like range, projectile <laughs> diarrhea. And I'm now driving. I'm like, ooh, ooh, Yeah, ooh, that's got to be rough. You know, I'm getting the gag. And there are no real jokes besides what I just told you there. I mean, it might have been a medical condition. I hope that person's okay. And I just shared gentle exasperation, and that's viral on TikTok. And here's, here's my thing. I think that guy knew what he was doing, and I'm just hoping it was a man. I, at this point, I'm hoping it was a man because that was a very unladylike act. Yes. But, I mean, I think that guy knew because he was also pooping with his butt facing oncoming traffic. Yeah. Now, I have a There quick, was no I, effort to hide. I have a quick follow-up for this. Have yep. you ever pooped yourself in public? No, but I have pooped outside once. Okay, yeah, I I did I did that once uh, at the end of a very long night. I was uh, thought I was going to be staying with someone who turned out to not be home, and I was like, well, I guess I'm. Uh, well, wait, where was where was it in a suburban neighborhood, a city same, neighborhood? Well, it was in Hoboken, so now you can guess who wasn't home, and uh, it wasn't when I lived there. And uh, I was like, You're well, <laughs> I guess I'm going behind the dumpster because, uh, and uh, there have been other times there have been. Close calls in life, some more recently. And uh, the thing that I would put first is sometimes you just, yeah, you, know, you got to get it out, but you don't want anybody to see it. So the fact that this person, I agree that they may have wanted you to see it, but it also might have been, oh boy, nope, I don't have time to hide. I got to get this out now. But I'm still leaning towards, they're like, you know, here's the free show. Yeah, uh, so... Let me take your point and digest it. Please. The same way that person digested all that food they pooped out. Now, I am, uh, I, I pooped outside once okay. during the pandemic. So I blame this on Dr. Fauci. <laughs> <laughs> I blame this on, but it was like I was driving home from Maine. It had to be June of 2020, end of June 2020. Yeah. And I went to one gas station. The bathroom was closed at a public. I go yeah. to another one. Bathroom was closed at a public. And uh, I had my friend Chris Delenic made this fantastic, creamy corn chowder the night before. And all I could say is it was not sitting well. Yeah. Like I, mean, I just, I had the tingle. You ever have the tingle? You yeah. Have the and you probably are like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have stored it in the trunk overnight. Maybe I should have refrigerated it. But ah. What's the worst that could happen? All I know out? for sure is there were woods. Uh, I, I actually, at one point, I uh, it was in Massachusetts, and I swore I would never forget the town I first took an outdoor crap in, uh, but I have forgotten. But whatever it was, there was enough woods that I just ran into the woods. And here's the difference between me and that other person. I popped a squat. Yes. This other person bent over as if they were going to shoot a bottle rocket out of their hiney. Which, you know, it's almost 4th of July, so it's something to think about, you know. <laughs> Could that be God the bless Ma America. Could that be the Macy's rehearsals? <laughs> <laughs> by the way, this segment underwritten by Macy's. I'm waiting for the cease and desist and, order on and this. And Owl Cam. And Owl Cam. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, those are the three times I have uh, seen people poop and the one time I pooped outside. But I do feel like it's a malicious and I also feel like the world is not rewarding me for being a good human being by letting this clip go viral. That That's the one. Well, your clip doesn't feature the person relieving themselves. No, it's just my own so, exasperation. Which, when you first started talking about it, I thought it might have been that. And, and, and I, I think the fact that uh, no one is shamed, you're just reacting in real time. I think people can relate to it. Either they've seen it or they're like, oh, I can't imagine what I would do. Yeah, I'd probably feel like I want to throw up. So, yeah, I, th I can see why that would, uh, that would connect with people. Yeah. Uh, so now, on the in the realm of things that might go viral or not, I have surrounded us with conversation pieces. Yes. As you called me the carrot top of podcasting today. Well, you know, I mean, look, uh, he's uh, had a very long, very successful career. Uh, if, if either of us ever have a residency in Las Vegas, I'll think that uh, we've achieved a new level of success. So uh, is, is my there, hat's off to carrot top. Is there anything over my shoulder catching your attention? Um, yes, I did see earlier that you have a photograph of uh, uh, Harry and Meghan. I was actually going to use their royal title, but I don't remember what it is. Uh, I think they've denounced it, right? Something of Windsor, I, right? Yeah, there's still something, though. You know, I believe Duke uh, and Duchess of Windsor. I believe she's uh, 
the first lady of deal or no deal, or perhaps Milady of Suits. So, on USA Milady Network. of Suits is a great title. Yeah, and I mean, a, that's the 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 subtitle to the uh, episode. Actually, you know what's funny? Suits is on Netflix. You ever watch it before? No, no. Okay, so that's the tone of voice I made for years. I'll tell you something. What a remarkably easy show to have on in the background. It, there's no tension. There's really no plot. If you go to the bathroom for 10 minutes and you come back, you can uh, pick up- On the up. side of the L-I-R-R? Yeah. <laughs> uh, the L-I-E is actually what I meant. Yeah, well, uh, uh, that, that story probably works just as well on the railroad tracks. That's true. On the railroad works just as well on the tracks. The tracks and the skid marks. That's another name of a podcast. But uh, I, sitting here, I found that photo in the trash today. That Oh, Today. Today. Wow, I love that you saw it today. I'm going because, to make a TikTok about it because I, you uh, worked on an, a, an, a you worked on something that with that, the other ones. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. I worked with William and Kate. Oh, okay. So I should not even have this in my home. No, no. This was in the trash. This That's was in the crazy. trash. Yeah, so, no, I love so somebody that. had that hanging up for years. So I'm torn on what to do with this picture. I was going to give it away to like somebody from the show who listens. Uh, you still also, could. Also, this piece of art I got from the Rachel Ray. They were emptying out the offices. I can't decide if that's worth hanging or if that's worth just sharing. Now, or- as you look <laughs> at it, what are the chances that you've hung it upside down? Zero? Or is there still a chance that this that might actually be the top of it? All right, you talk for a minute. Because that looks me. like the water you're down me, below. Me, that looks like the sky. You think it's upside down. However, it's not out of the realm of possibility that it is designed to be viewed this way and it might actually look better yeah that's definitely a beach i i yeah i'm i'm all in on this version of it yeah now what i was thinking of doing was what i was thinking of doing was just signing the bottom yeah and giving it to someone that's a great idea and just like walk up to them on the street it's very large for your audio audience it is very large yeah so it, the the Megan and Harry picture that's very easy to give to like tourists. In fact, you you might even want to be very carrot toppy. You just kind of you keep bringing it to shows, and finally you're gonna have somebody from the UK sitting there, and then you're gonna give it to them, and you'll work up to it. It'll be it, it could be no, a whole thing. That could be a what would you do for a picture of Harry and Megan kissing? Yeah, right. That's the new what would you do for a Klondike bar? What would you do for a picture of Harry and Megan kissing? What would you do for and you know it's oh god. Uh, I'll tell you a private story about the royal family later. Uh, just I'm afraid of now. Will having this picture as, in my apartment hurt me from other as, royal family as work? As long as Prince Andrew's not in it, I want to hear the story. So that'll be and fun. And yeah, no, just that they did a lot of research on me. Yeah. And I'm wondering oh. if this will affect uh, future research. No, you, so you, all you're saying is that you found it. You rescued it from, uh, as they would say, the rubbish bin. And... <laughs> Uh, is that you, the British word? I mean, they would they would refer to a trash can as a rubbish bin. Perhaps. And it sounds like a good translation. It definitely sounds fancier. Okay. Know? It also sounds like a great name for a uh, local watering hole, a pub. The rubbish bin. Step on into the rubbish bin. And it would have one of those red foam boots like Doctor Who. Well, well yes, although his is blue, but I know what you're saying. Okay, thank you. Well, you give him some okay. Way to way to out nerd me in front of the Tom <laughs> Kelly Show <laughs> listeners. In front, in front of the in front of so, the Tom Kelly Show so private the, Facebook. So the question group. for the question Facebook for super fans and public fans people too lazy enough to go people who are too lazy to request to join the secret group are yeah. you in the secret group i don't know if i'm in the secret group i think i'm in the there's I think a I might public be in the page public, yeah, i think i'm on the public page and then there's a secret group where it's it's cool everybody gets to express themselves and it's just amazing to see it'll be like all right uh tom's show is on tonight and then has anyone seen my puppy like it's oh. just yeah like okay, people yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's cool you get to meet the people who are a part of this mess. Uh, okay. Oh, and special magic mirror moment to Missy who joined in the Tom Kelly Show secret Facebook group Instagram live chat. Uh, no, it was a fa- I don't know. She commented on something. Hi, Missy. That's all you need to know. Uh, so, but I want to know what should I do with the Harry and Meghan uh, picture. Uh, that that would be uh, you know should I donate it should I give it to a friend should I, I play it? and then what I, should I do with the giant piece of art well too? so the picture Harry Megan is easier you can walk up to somebody and give it to them so I like that uh, you might have to you're gonna look for the right setting this is much more difficult 
So I'll tell I, you what I almost did with it. And you okay. Uh, tell me what so, you almost did with it. So my friend Carla and Mike Cangelosi, I, I don't know her, Carla Link. She married a guy, C-A-N-G-E-L-O-S-I. Uh, however you pronounce that, their son just got into college and graduated. And I was going to just, they don't know me well. Um, yeah. The kids don't know me well. They don't know if I paint or not. So I was just going to take the painting and give it to him at his graduation party with 150 people and just say, hey, here's your graduation gift. Hang it up in your dorm room and just go with it and leave. I mean, there's something to be said for that, but you have to also, like, what kind of actual gift would you give this kid? Is it a card with 20 bucks? Or oh, he'd be, he'd be lucky if he gets 20 bucks out of it. Okay, so a $10 gift card to Wendy's. Is that where we're at with this kid? Or Yeah, I, honestly, I forgot to give a card. And okay, I, so I, you I, didn't I, even go that far. I, like, it was either going to give him a giant painting or nothing. All right, well, then I think that the giant painting is a, is a good idea. Um, and uh, you can, I would sign it at the bottom and, and also at the top. Yeah, because it's like, and this way, you can hang it however you want. I like it hanging around, but I like your thought about that's the beach. Now I yeah. kind of like it. Yeah, and I, I think the way you originally had it was correct, but I, I'm enjoying it more. This is a nicer aesthetic. And so, you know what? And that's the nice thing about art. You can hang it however way you want. We don't have much. Actually, I mean, technically the show's over. We could either stick around for one more minute and do the New York well, City Health. Well, it's going to be a minute or two. I think it's all right. I think the Tom Kelly show can go 23 minutes, but it can't go 24 Okay. So do you want me to open this envelope? Oh, I think that's a lot, though. That's a lot. Let's do Limerick trivia. Let's end with okay. something easy. All right. I'm excited about this, though. Okay. But, uh, so, folks. Maybe we'll open this on the Blackcast. Oh. oh, yeah. You know what? Or we'll, we could figure that out or do it as a whole. We'll figure it out. Okay. So, hang on. I want to get the little dings and buzzers right here. Hang okay. on. Nope. Nope. Wrong button. <laughs> nope. They're laughing at you now. There we go. And wait. And okay. Got it. Ding, okay. buzz. Okay. All right. So Limerick trivia, you know what a Limerick is, right? Yeah, there once was a man from Nantucket. Yeah, okay. I'm so, not good at this, but I'm happy to play. All right, good. Uh, folks, play along. These are all newsy Limericks, entertainment news Limericks. Since Sex in the City 2, she was not there at all. On the show where Mr. Big took a big fall. And then just like that, with Sarah Jessica Parker, she sat. And she made a cameo on... Oh, and there was a cameo from... Oh, well, I know that it's Kim Cattrall. Because there you go. I've, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't watch that show, but I do remember a year ago when you spoiled the, the series premiere. Oh, that Mr. For, Big dies yeah, in the yeah. beginning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I loved that so much because, uh, you know, people... There's, there's the spoilers that I'd hate to have spoiled, but that was one I didn't care about. So I was like, oh, man, people got so mad at you. Oh, God, yeah. Okay, so what I'm realizing, the nice thing about trying these things on my own podcast is I realized why the radio stations I write for didn't use didn't it. Didn't use it. Yeah, that was a clunky one. That was a clunky one. Do you one. have a button that we can push and we can hear crickets? Yeah, I think okay. I keep pressing it by mistake. Nope. There we go. Crickets. So you hit that. Yeah. I'll, you I'll, hit that if the joke doesn't work. Okay. All right, here we go. Hang on. Now there's just laughter and crickets that just won't stop. God damn it. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Ready? That's the book of revelations. Yes. <laughs> laughter and crickets from the sky. Uh... It looks like she's going to court, man. I'm a grieving widow, she said on Instagram. I'm not sure if I care, but her husband Ben had an affair. The black swan I'm talking about is... Oh, um, see, I was spending so much time trying to come up with the correct answer, I didn't think of a joke answer. So now... That's all I got. <laughs> Natalie That's, Portman. Oh my gosh! Of course, Natalie Portman. Natalie Portman. See, I forgot. Yeah, her husband stepped out on her. I did hear that. Yeah. Uh, okay. Here's one you may not know. E. She had a tattoo of her husband. No baloney. This woman's a star from Star Star Trek, Guardians, and Avatar. This Saldana I'm talking about is Zoe. Yes. Yes. And uh, my kids went to preschool with her kids. So I. Did, wait. Did you ever see him? Yes. Uh, is she nice? Uh, she was o almost always working. Uh, but How was the nanny? Uh, well, no, the husband usually dropped them off, so he was very nice. Okay. Uh, but also, uh, I've name-dropped this before, uh, Mila Kunis and Ashton Kutcher's kids also went there, so I would see one or both of them every day. Wait, are they married? 
Uh, I they, believe they actually they got are, married. They are, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they've had... Because at one point he was married to one of the Demi Moore kids, right? He was married to Demi Moore. Oh. Yeah. So what you're trying to say is he's married to one of Bruce Willis's kids. Gotcha. Okay. Demi Moore. Gotcha. All right. This mob actor was not in Casino, but in Scarface, he played a Latino. Here's one I don't want to see. He's going to have his fourth kid at 83. The Corleone I'm talking about is... Hua! Al Pacino! Yes! There you go. All right. All right, two more just for fun. All right. In Across the Spider-Verse, a hero swings high. A Spider-Man with powers that defy. This animated hero young and bold. He's not Peter Parker, truth be told. This web swinger's name is... Is he Miles Morales? Yes, and that doesn't rhyme either. Why did say, I do this? I'm like, I know what that is because I've seen oh, that. Oh, Miles? Is that, does Miles just, rhyme with high? Defy, Miles? Defy, no. Oh, I'm not good at this. Okay, um, here we go. This dreamy actor we will discuss today and call me by your name, a role he did play. I'm always surprised to see. He spells his first name with two E's. I'm talking about none other than... Uh, Timothy Chalamet. That rhymes with play. That's why yeah. I did that. Okay, good. All right. Speeding through this. I hope his Viagra is not a placebo. On a yacht with a 22-year-old, we did CO, young woman he adores. I hope they'd make room for him on the door. This 48-year-old actor's name is? Leo? DiCaprio. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, there you go. Well, Leo or DiCaprio. They both work. So I was trying to think about which one I was, should he be using. There. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I Again, I wrote these all myself. <laughs> to her cooking life, she is dedicated. In prison, she meditated. She always throws me for a loop. When she hangs out with Snoop, now she's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. Uh, you're speaking of uh, Martha Stewart. Yes. That's right. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. This one is just for the NBC people. You don't know this guy for his bod. To his political acumen, you'd give a nod. For nine years, he gave his best to NBC's Meet the Press. This retiring anchor is... Chuck Todd. Yes, the, yes, there you go. Your, your news radio work is paying off. And somewhere, David Gregory is just laughing. All right, her voice is a melodonic nirvana. Uh, don't confuse her with Hannah Montana. With hits like Umbrella and Diamond So Bright, she ruled the charts day and night. Let's shine bright like diamonds with... Rihanna. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> oh, and this one is just for you. Oh, good. That's what I like. This Today Show host is no joker. He's never been confused with Oprah. He's on NBC. He had surgery recently. This famous weatherman is... Al Roker. There you go, my friend. But only because Sam Champion didn't fit. <laughs> I know he's local. But... All right. He's, he's Roker, damn it. Roker! All right, I think that's a good show note to end on. Uh, Any time that you can bring up Roker, I think is a great time to to end things. All right, yeah. folks, the Black Cast. Where where do we find that at? Uh, B L A D T C A S T. You can subscribe to the audio version. We have our YouTube channel. Uh, one of our shows, uh, Marvel Movie Talk, has moved over to the Geekscape Network, so you can find me and some other shows that I do there. And uh, just follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Christian D M Z. And then there you go, guys. And just one last shout out to our friend, Missy, whose last name is not showing up. Oh, Missy, oh, God, it, it keeps showing me your picture and then it goes away. Missy from the Tom Kelly Show secret fan page group. Missy Madison. No, that just sounds like a porn name. But Missy, we're thinking of you today. Thank you for commenting in the Tom Kelly Show secret fan group. And listen, there are new TikToks. There are new Instagrams. And I'm getting ahead on the podcast. So every Monday and Wednesday, tell your friends. And you can listen to me on the Blackcast soon, right? Very soon. Yeah, right. uh, probably at the end of June, that episode will be up. All right. Good night, New York.